Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make a small Pokemon. Now, in case you, if you don't know what Pokemon is, Pokemon is the game where you have two or more creatures called Pokemon, where you tame them and you battle against other creatures. So let's start. First of all, let's just see how we should create the game. Well, for now, let's just set it where you can create Pokemon creatures and make one creature attack another. Let's start. First of all, we need to use the random mode. I'll explain why later. So we import libraries by using the import keyword, followed by what we want to import. If you have more than one imports, you can do it like this. You can start with the first module name, then a comma, and then the second module name, and a comma, and so on. Let's just save the file. Okay. Mm. Yes. Now, rather than just creating the whole program, you can use a class to do it for us. So, the class keyword followed by the class name. It makes sense to keep the class name as Pokemon. Mm. Now, inside the class, we need to override the default main constructor by using our initialize. Constructor. Now, inside the constructor, we'll pass five arguments. The first one is self, which is obvious. The second one is the name, the name of the Pokemon. The third one, health. That is like, the, for example, the number of lives your Pokemon has, although that's not exactly true. ATT, the attack. The reason I kept ATT is because we'll have a function called attack. And then the last one, default. Now inside the constructor, you will set, I mean we set self.name to name, then self.health to help, self.attack, ATT, to ATT. And then finally, self.defense to defense. Don't get confused with the names. Treat self dot the name, like defense or something, as one whole variable name. That way you don't get confused. Next, let's override the string method when we print the object to print the name of the Pokemon and its attack and defense there. So we don't have any arguments other than cell. Inside, let's create a variable string that will be our placeholder for the for the string. Let's set string to the name of the Pokemon, self.name class. An opening bracket plus the health of the Pokemon converted to string plus the closing bracket to right? followed by a colon and then slash n. What is slash n? The slash n is a new line character. Make sure to note that it's supposed to be a backslash. A forward slash won't work. Next, let's append. 
Let's have kind of something else here. Let's start with the attack variable. Let's set it to agt equal to outside the string self dot agt. We'll convert it to string of course. After that, let's put a space, maybe a comma as well, plus defense, def, colon, space, along with that, the defense amount that we converted to string. Okay, now we can return it. Just a minute. Okay. Now what do we need? Well, the next function is of course attack, but we need one more function to as a supplement to attack. That is the calculate damage. This function will calculate how much damage can one Pokemon create, this Pokemon, to another Pokemon. This is what we'll pass. So self will be this Pokemon, and the other Pokemon we can set to other PKM. That will calculate me. Inside the function, we can set part A to 12 over 5, part B to this Pokemon's attack force over the other Pokemon's defense. And then part a, B as the product of part A and part B. Okay, next. Now, here's the part where we need that random module. Here, the formula to calculate the damage is actually just a minute. Twelve over five into A over D plus two, everything multiplied by R where A is equal to the current Pokemon attack. Maybe not current, maybe this. D is equal to the other Pokemon defense. And finally, R equal to a random value between 0.85 and 1, inclusive. So for this to work, we can create a list of choices between 0.85 and 1, inclusive that is. So let's set choices to a list from 0.85 to 1. So just a minute. That's the whole list from 0.85 to 1. Into. Now we set R equal to random dot choice of the list choices. 
Mm, this should be Okay. Now we set part C equal to part AB, the product of part A and part B, plus 2, everything multiplied by R. And now we return part C. Next, let's create the function attack. That takes the same two arguments, self and the other Pokemon. So here we'll set the variable damage equal to the int, because it will return a float, of calculate damage. This self dot calculate damage with the input of the other Pokemon. Next, we set other Pokemon's health minus equal to the damage, meaning we take away the amount of damage from the health of the other Pokemon. Now in the game, if the Pokemon's health drops below zero or is at zero, it will mean that the Pokemon has fainted. So let's first check that. First I'll just print this statement. So here, in this case we're going to say that this Pokemon has done some damage. So self.name, the Pokemon's name, plus in the string has done outside that plus string of self I mean damage plus damage in quotes. Now let's use an if statement. So if the other Pokemon's health has gone less than or equal to zero, then inside that if statement, we print that this Pokemon has fainted. So other Pokemon dot name plus in the brackets has fainted. After that print statement, we set the other Pokemon's health back to zero in case uh, its health has gone less than zero. And that's it. We're done. Now we can create our Pokemon objects. So let's set B to Pokemon of Bulbasaur followed by its health 45, its attack 49, and defense same again 49. If we print this out, we get Bulbasaur, the name of the Pokemon, followed by the health in the brackets. And then after that, you get the attack strength and the defense strength. Let's create another object. C equal to, I say not C, P equal to Pokemon of Pikachu followed by the health, I'll just keep it for five. And the damage, I mean not damage, I mean force and the defense. I'll set those both to four. Let's print this up. There we go. We got both of the Pokemons. Now let's see what happens if we Pikachu attacks Bulbasaur. That is P attacks B. P 
A dot attack B. And then let's print both of them. There you go. You see that? It says that Pikachu, the variable P, has done three damage. And then Bulbasaur's health has gone from 45 to 42. That's because 45 minus 3 is 42. Now, if you run this again, well, we get 3 again. But in some cases, the number changes. Well, in this case, because these are both the same, the number doesn't seem to change. But let's say I kept this to something else. Not this. This. Well, it's still the same, but in some cases it will, it will still change. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.